How about the processor? This is the processor of a desktop computer. This one's a little bit older, might be a little bit smaller now or a lot more powerful. Yours will be soldered onto your Chromebooks uh, probably, but you'll very seldom see it like this. Usually when you see a chip inside a computer, it will have a big device on the top. That device is called a heat sink. It might look something like this. And the purpose of this is to suck all the heat out of the chip and a fan will blow on this and blow that heat away because heat will kill these chips. These chips do an awful lot. We talked about it doing billions of things per second and that generates a lot of heat and heat will kill these things. So you will often have a device called a heat sink sitting on top of the chip. Uh, there's another device that you need to know about that's called the motherboard. Now a motherboard is what holds all of the other pieces together and has all the wiring that lets them communicate. You can think of a mother holding all the other pieces in a big hug. Here's the motherboard for an old desktop computer. You can see where the chip would sit. The chip fits into this slot and clamps down. The heat sink would sit right on top of that chip. The RAM, this will use a different format of RAM, but the RAM fits into these slots here. These slots have little arms that will click when you push it in to let you know that the RAM is latched in and attached. And to disattach it, you just pull those back and the RAM kind of pops up. It also has slots for expansion. So for example, if you're a gamer and you want to play the latest games, you're going to need a special video card that will handle a lot of the graphics. And that video card will fit into one of these kinds of slots. It also has places to put your inputs and outputs. So for example, you guys are familiar with USB, all of your computers will have some form of USB where you can plug in a keyboard or a mouse or something like that. So it's going to have that. Most motherboards will have some type of port for video coming out, although if you want to put a graphics card in there, these will be disabled. Here's an old port we never use anymore for keyboards and mice. Uh, you've got a place to plug in the internet, you've got a place to plug in sound, uh, microphone or speakers. So it, the motherboard has all of the connections to the outside world. It's got the connections that will hold the permanent memory and the temporary memory and the processor and all of these things together.